Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I want to do an experiment where I take a TIE fighter which is a spacecraft and try to convert it into an aircraft meaning something that can actually fly in an earth-like atmosphere like we have in trail makers here because believe it or not the TIE fighter design is not suited at all for flying like a plane those big wings on the side aren't actually wings and they wouldn't even serve very well as wings considering they're vertical. And there's pretty much no lift surfaces on this thing because there's no air in space so there's nothing to provide lift in the first place. So I thought it would be an interesting challenge to try to take this design which clearly would not work in an atmosphere and try to actually make it fly like an airplane by making as subtle changes as I possibly can until I can get an actual functioning result and then we'll see exactly how big of a change I really had to make to get there. All right, so let's get into build mode and to start off, I'm just gonna try to build something that is designed as close to the original TIE fighter design and then we'll see how terrible that thing is at flying in uh, this atmosphere and then I'll and then that's when I can try to make adjustments and make it functional now of course it's not gonna be a perfect replica of a TIE fighter since I'm working in trail makers here but um, I know I'm gonna need plenty of thrust I know that the thrust comes from the back center of the original design shaping this thing is becoming more of a challenge than I thought it would be that's for sure but uh, as I start to build this thing I'm starting to notice how terrible of a design it really is just in any sense because you essentially have giant blinders on the side of this thing like these are just solid black solar panels that you can't even see through i don't know how you were expected to navigate a space battlefield in these things without any peripheral vision whatsoever okay i've got the basic tie fighter built i know it's not a perfect replica but uh it's close enough just to get across the uh the shape and the point of what we're going for and as you can see it's absolutely terrible right now it's got really no way to lift off and no way to even sustain flight in the air if we were even even able to get up in the air. But you know what? Let's try it uh, by aiming ourselves up like a spaceship. <laughs> See if we can even get off the ground. Oh no, this is bad. We don't even have enough thrust. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought these four thrusters were going to be enough, but apparently they are not enough. But you know what I am realizing this thing is missing that is very crucial is uh, some weapons. There we go. Now we're a more realistic TIE fighter. <laughs> but okay, as you can see, I've built all the basic parts. I have the uh, the wings, quote unquote, and uh, the thrust and the cockpit and just the basic shape. And it is nowhere near flying yet in a gravitational particle filled atmosphere. So let's just make some super gradual and basic modifications and see how they might affect um, the operation of this thing. And hopefully we're going to be able to do this enough until we get a fully functional or at least flyable uh, TIE fighter. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is putting some wheels on here. So that way when I do the thrust, I'll actually be able to get some momentum. So now we can see it how it actually flies through the air and it doesn't it falls and that is because there is zero lift on this thing so one of the first changes that i had already planned to make was to replace these beams that support these panels and replace them with actual wings that generate lift and it looks like i only have enough space to fit one and a half of these things so i'm actually going to extend the panels out a little bit so i can fit two wings at least and i'm gonna leave all of my changes unpainted until uh the final product so that way we can actually see what's new and what's old what's part of the original design and the new design all right so now with just this added how does it feel Still pretty bad. Really, really bad, actually. I didn't really feel any lift at all, which tells me I probably need some more lift. So I actually have an idea. I'm going to make this into a bit of a biplane style. So there's going to be one set of wings there, and there's going to be another set of wings right there. So it still kind of has the aesthetic of creating that attachment point to the panels. But now there's actually two sources of lift. So we'll see if that, how does that make a difference? If it even, it's not even going to make a difference, is it? I think I built this thing too heavy. But let's see what happens. Okay. It's starting to feel like something. But the big problem is right now we just nose down as soon as we uh, as soon as we get off the carrier here. And that is because we have no we have no stabilization. We have no tail. We have no we have no stabilizers at all. But before we even get there, another thing I wanted to actually do was replace as much of this uh, panel as I can with um, wing pieces. 
This is going to serve two purposes. It's going to um, lighten the weight of this because the wing pieces are lighter than the, uh, the standard blocks that I used. And it should hopefully provide a little bit of directional stability. Actually, what might make it better is if I have the wings in the back section primarily. That way, this kind of acts as a little bit of a tail rudder, like a vertical stabilizer in the back of the uh, cockpit here. And then up in the front, I'll just use standard aerodynamic pieces so we can still cut down on our weight. And this is going to add kind of a cool slatted feature. Okay, this probably won't make much of a difference because um, it's just vertical stabilizers. So I, I still have no horizontal stabilizers. Okay, so I've added my first set of control surfaces here. So this should hopefully allow me to pitch up and see if I'm even capable of maintaining flight at all. And right now, it's actually not super terrible. However, I am noticing that there is a uh, a natural nose down happening. Like when I'm not pitching up, I am definitely nosing down. Yep, just like that. That's that's interesting. I'm actually not too sure where that's coming from. Because actually, as far as I can tell, my center of mass should actually be behind my center of lift right now. Unless perhaps my center of thrust is above my center of mass. Here, let's see. If I just take a weight block and add it to the top here, does that change whether I nose down or not? Nope. Okay, now I'm just too heavy. <laughs> So if I add these up on the front there, uh, is this going to keep us more level by having a more even effect? Okay, no, it still really, really wants the nose down. This is very strange to me. Oh, I figured it out. You know what it was? The wheels. The wheels were actually causing the nose down. I just copied the wheels and I put them on the top. And now I fly perfectly straight. So that was, the, the wheels have an interesting effect. How heavy are these wheels then? Two kilograms, really? It appears that I'm definitely gonna have to stay a little bit more symmetrical with my adjustments. Cause see now, now I fly really nice. But I don't have any, um, I don't have any roll yet. I could make it so that these wings um, provide the roll by adding control surfaces for these. Let me see what I can do by adding a set right here. So now you can see up next to the cockpit is a dedicated set of uh, control surfaces. So let's see if that gives me the roll control that I need. I don't know if it's going to be enough. All right, let's get flying nice and straight first. And Ooh, it is really, really, really subtle. I mean, it's enough to be able to control myself, but it is not a lot. Like, look at that. Look at that correction. It's so, so slow. Okay, what if I copied another set to the back then? Oh, I have no attachment points back here. Wait, no, no, no. I can, I can, I can fix this. There we go. All right, problem solved, I think. I hope. Everything looked good. All right, roll left. Roll right. Oh, it is way less than I would want it to be. You know what? Perhaps I can actually program into my tail fins um, some roll help. Because my tail fins have a lot of, have a big effect on us. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. All right. But no, it's weird. It's weird because it's only coming from the back, like, side. So there's some adverse, um, there's some adverse yaw that, well, actually that time it looked fine. It's wonky. It's, it is wonky. I'm trying to use my tail fins as roll as well, but there does seem to be some adverse yaw happening for sure. And I don't actually have yaw control on this thing, but it does make me much more agile as far as the roll goes, as you can see. All right, I think the best thing to do is to go with symmetry, and I'm going to do that by making these front tail fins have the same control as the uh, back tail fins. All right, so now you can see the front and back are working together. Uh, for pitch like this and they're working opposite for roll like this So we should actually have some pretty comprehensive pitch and roll now Let's see if it has any adverse effects when it comes to yaw or things like that There's a little bit of an adverse yaw, but it doesn't feel nearly as major as it was last time You know as I fly this thing around this thing actually feels pretty controllable now surprisingly Like look at this Okay so now I don't think I even need these center wings anymore. So you know what I decided to do is actually fill that space with mini thrusters because well, I think one of the big limitations of this thing was the lack of thrust. So now we are much faster 
which is going to uh, hopefully make things go much better. Now, in real life, the, all those mini thrusters would have kind of defeated the purpose of some of those wing pieces. Um, but in Trail Makers, I don't think that matters that much. As you can see, we're still flying. We still have lift. And actually, this just feels way better. I feel like I have so much more control, and I feel like I'm not just a, an elephant flying through the sky anymore with how heavy I felt. Whoa, boy. Oh, boy. The, the controls are a little bit uh, too sensitive sometimes. But, oh, okay, that was a terrible landing. But overall, we are doing much better. Um, there's one final thing I want to try out, and that is to expand the amount of wings I have up here. There we go. So now my surface area of lift is much higher, which means that when I stop using my thrust, I actually glide much better rather than just falling out of the sky. So you can see, I, it just feels like I'm, 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 I have lift. We have liftoff. Okay, so I think this thing is ready for an official test of its uh, capabilities. We can see all of the additions we've added in red. Uh, so let me just paint it up to look more like the original TIE Fighter. And let's see if we can take off, maneuver, and then come in for a landing with this thing. All right, and here it is. Let's do some pre-flight checks. We actually don't have a whole lot of control surfaces. It's just those, those fins is all we really needed. Let's try it. Our goal is to take off, which was a success. And then I want to fly myself through a hoop of fire to indicate that I can actually control this thing where I want it to go. So here, let me angle over towards this hoop of fire here. That worked out pretty well. The roll works really good as yaw, just by like angling myself in the direction that I want to uh, turn. So now I need to come back in for a landing. And that is the difficult thing I imagine with this because the wheelbase I don't have any suspension on the wheels. I kept the wheels very, very simple. I just slapped them on and they're super tiny wheels. And I'm worried that they're gonna sink into the ground a little too much and then cause friction with my side panels. And I don't want, I don't want to nosedive after hitting the ground. I want to just have a nice smooth roll. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Coming in. And nice and soft. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we may be upside down, but we're on our wheels. And I think that's all that matters. Hold on, can I? Uh oh, okay, and now we're rolling back. <laughs> all right, I know this looks way stupider with the uh, suspension on the wheels like this, and I didn't add it to the top, so now it... <laughs> It has a, a much stronger pitch down effect, but I just want to see if I can uh, successfully land this thing to see if it was a suspension issue or uh, if it's more complicated than that. It could just be a wheelbase thing. All right, here we go. All right, the smoke in my face isn't helping. All right, turn a little bit. Uh, and there we, man, this is hard to land. Cause when I, when I tilt up to try to land, it ends up rolling us anyway. All right, let me try to land more flat and see if that helps. All right, here we go. Oh, it is so hard to land this thing. All right, but that kind of tells me that the suspension isn't really needed. All right, I'm gonna try it again without suspension. Apparently landing something like this is a uh, hard mode, but actually is that, are you got, you gotta be kidding me. It's too tall. Here we go. What if I land nose first? Oh, so close. I think landing uh, front wheels first is going to be the best bet I have, though, because it's not going to create that rolling effect by hitting the back the back wheels first, which then pitch us forward. All right, let me try that one more time. Yeah, probably more than one more time. All right, let's get some speed. And that wasn't nose first, but we landed. And that is, of course, when I get out, the brakes apply, and then that causes us to nosedive. All right, well, clearly the design is not perfect. This was not designed for this kind of environment or atmosphere. But uh, all things considered, we haven't really changed too much about the original aesthetic. We just added uh, some, some wings and some fins onto the side panels. And I think functionally, we got this thing working for a uh, for an air-based atmosphere with gravity, providing lift and roll controls and all that stuff, and almost a landing there. So yeah, I thought this was kind of a fun concept. Are there any other vehicles that you think were not built for like a, 
airplane type controls that might be fun to convert to airplane type controls i think that could be kind of a fun series if you guys are into it uh so let me know about that down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scribe man and i'll see you next time bye